hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem x square root of x plus square root of x equals 10 okay so from here what do I do we have x multiplied by this right this is the same thing as x multiply by x to the power of 1 over 2 because x to the power of 1 over 2 is the same thing as um, as um, square root of x then plus here we have square root of x and everything is equal to 10 now we will obey one of the rules of indices if you have a to the power of b times a to the power of b this will be the same thing to a to the power of b plus b pick one of the bases and you add the powers and we believe there's an invisible power of one there so when we pick x then we add the power one plus one over two then plus square root of x equals 10 now this will be x to the power of um, 1 plus 1 over 2 is 3 over 2 then plus square root of x equals 10 now I am having square root of um, x here right so I can still get square root of x from here so that I will now have 3, I mean x to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of 3. Then plus square root of x equals 10. From here, if you open this bracket, it gives you 3 over 2. Now, square root of x is the same thing as x to the power of 1 over 2. So we can better write this as square root of x to the power of 3 plus square root of x equals 10 so that if we proceed from here we now have the same thing we will say let y be equal to square root of x so that anywhere we find square root of x we write y so we now have y to the power of 3 plus this becomes y equals 10 now we bring this to the left so we have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0 there's nothing on the right at the moment so we have 0 over there now how do we factorize this i want to express 10 in this form y to the power of 3 plus y now, is there any number in 10? Is there any number in 10 that can be written to the power of 3? Yes, the number will be 8. So, I'll pick out 8. Then, it will remain 2. Okay, so 8 plus 2 will give us 10. But this negative is still there. So, everything is equal to 0. Now, we have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 8 minus 2 equals 0 the negative will open the bracket now we have y to the power of 3 plus y minus 2 to the power of 3 minus 2 equals 0 right so from here now we have y to the power of 3 I'll bring this together so we have minus 2 to the power of 3 then I write this plus y minus 2 equals 0 now from here what should we do we can now factorize this together and then this together from here we have difference of two cubes and if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this should give us a minus b close it 
then a squared plus a b plus b squared this is what we we have so in place of a minus b we'll have y minus 2 then in place of a squared we have y squared a b that will now be y times 2 that will be 2y then plus we have b squared this b squared becomes 2 squared and it is 4 close this then plus open bracket y minus 2 equals 0 y minus 2 is from here so if we go ahead then you discover that we have common terms or common factors so we'll factorize so that y minus 2 will come out as a common factor then here we have y squared plus 2y plus 4 then plus here y minus 2 divided by y minus 2 is 1 so we close this and equate to 0 now y minus 2 is still out as a common factor then here we have y squared plus 2y plus 4 plus 1 will give 5 then we equate everything to 0 from here we apply zero product rule okay so it is either y minus 2 equals 0 or y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0 now y is equal to 0 plus 2 y is equal to 2 this becomes the first value of y remember we we were not looking for the value of y rather we're looking for the value of x but then let's leave this and get back to this because we are expected to have more values from here but are we going to have real solution from here let's try this now we want to use formula to solve that this is quadratic and the formula is y equals b minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a so now y will now be um our b now will be 2 so now write minus 2 plus or minus we have b squared which will be 2 squared minus 4 times a a is 1 that is the coefficient of y squared and c is the constant which is 5 so we divide all of this by 2 times 1 and then you now see that y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 minus 20 so this will give us 2 under here now we're going to have negative root y is equal to minus 2 plus or minus square root of negative 16 over 2 at this point you discover that you're going to have negative square root which will now give you a real solution so this will be rejected since we are interested in only the real solution okay so we go back to this remember when we say that y is equal to square root of x so in place of y now i'll write 2 and it's equal to square root of x and then from there our square root of x is equal to 2 square both sides okay we we'll square this and on the other side we we'll square 2 we are squaring so that this can go the square root can go now x is equal to 2 squared which is 4 so this is the value of x that um, should satisfy x root x plus root x equals 10 so if i put 4 here now it will be 4 times square root of 4 then plus square root of 4 basically what this gives us we are verifying so we have 4 multiplied by square root of 4 is 2 
then plus square root of 4 again is 2. This means we have 8 plus 2, which is 10. Okay, so our x is truly equal to 4 because it satisfies. Thank you for watching.